Hey there guys, how you all doing? You're back with Sam and today I can finally bring you my PC build. I finally built my PC so I'm going to show you what I built for the price and also try and help you guys who want to build a PC on a decent budget. This is the PC itself. Now this cost me in total £605 but that was including monitor, keyboard, mouse. So if you take off the monitor, keyboard and mouse just by the computer itself you're looking at about £480, maybe £500. So if you want a universal comparison, this cost me just a little bit more than what an Xbox One will cost you, maybe £20-£30 more. So before I actually get into the specs, I'm going to show you what it can do. So this is Assassin's Creed 3 on ultra settings. As you can see, no lag, it's running perfectly. And also this is Skyrim, again on the top settings. Now I wanted to show you some Battlefield, but I don't have that game yet. It's going to be two or three weeks before I get it. Now as you can see, it runs the game fine. The only issue is when it comes to recording at first, First I experienced a little bit of lag but then I just decided to output the recordings to a external hard drive and just play with the XTOY settings a little bit and now as you can see it works fine. So let's get straight into the hardware. Now I'll start with the simple stuff. For the case I got the Corsair Carbide 200R Compact ATX case. Now this set me back £41.66 and as you can see it's, it's a really decent sized case, it's got good ventilation, it can hold up to 8 fans, 4 hard drives and it's got really good cooling so it's a really good solid case. For the monitor, I just got a simple, it's a BenQ LED monitor, 22 inch, full HD for £89.99. For the keyboard, I just picked up a cheap one from work and the same for the mouse. The keyboard and mouse together cost me £20. Now as you can see these aren't gaming keyboard or gaming mice, but I think when it comes to making your first PC, you don't want to shell out loads of money on gaming keyboards and gaming mice until you know it's for you. But I did actually get a gaming mouse the other day. I bought it off my friend Matt the Musketeer and if you saw the last video you'll see that while I was there he also shot me and dubstepped me. I did get my revenge, you'll see that at the end of the video, but he sold me a, an A4Tech XL gaming mouse for £10. Now this isn't included in my budget because you'll struggle to find that same mouse for that price, it's usually about 30 quid. But if you can stretch to it, I would recommend it. But perhaps just get a basic mouse first. See if PC gaming is for you and then think about upgrading those kind of things. So for the motherboard, I got a Gigabyte Z68 APD3 Intel Z8 DDR3 motherboard. So uh, if that didn't mean much to you, it's just uh, quite a basic motherboard. It's £38.29. And as you can see, this is it laid out on the box. And now I'm going to show you how to attach the various parts to it and how it fits into the PC. So I'll start with the RAM. Now I got 8 gigabytes of RAM, uh, it's good RAM as well, Kingston, it's 1600 MHz DDR3 RAM, so it's really decent RAM, that sent me back £41.66 and the, the RAM just slots into the associated slots on the motherboard as you can see here, it's very easy to find the slots, very simple to do, it's kind of like Lego. Then for the CPU, I actually bought this off my friend Sean who helped me with the build and he sold me his Intel Core i5 processor, uh, quad core at 3.6 gigahertz I can overclock to 4.3 but I've not done that yet and he sold me that for 140 quid which is about the same price you'll find it for so uh, it's a great processor for the price and again this just slots into the slot you can see here and you just close the case down fasten that in now for the graphics card we actually found a really really good bargain on eBay I got a Radeon HD7850, the VTX edition, for £95, which is really, really good value for money. And it allows me to play the games on the really high settings. So for £95, I really don't think you can argue. So I'd recommend that. Now for the hard drive, I got a Seagate 500 gigabyte SSHD. Basically, it's like a hybrid drive to have all my operating system and all that kind of things on. I am eventually going to get a solid state drive and move Windows onto that and then use the hybrid drive for different programs and then have a third hard drive because I'll be recording footage. It's really, really big file, so it's going to clog up really quickly and I don't want things to be dragging on the hard drive. But for now, that's what I've got and it seems to be doing the job. And for the power supply, I got a, an OCZ Core Extreme 500 watt power supply. So the hard drive sent me back £50 and the power supply was £30. So with all those together, all the electronic components inside the computer and the case itself, you're looking at about £500. And then any sort of monitor, keyboard, mouse you need obviously adds on top of that. The motherboard just slots into the case as you can see here and screws on. And once I put all this together, there was plenty of space left over. So that's the PC I've built. £600 budget, which is very, very reasonable for a gaming PC that is going to run games on max settings. I mean, I was checking the benchmarks of Battlefield and it seems I should be able to run that on Ultra, high at the very least, so I'll find out in a couple of weeks. But that is that is it. That is my PC build. If you guys are wanting to work out how to build a PC on a reasonable, reasonable budget, I really hope the things I've shown you today 
will help you and guide you into sort of where to start looking but you should be able to find things for about the same price no matter what country you're in now for your battlefield fans the next video is going to be all about battlefield but in the meantime you guys take care of yourselves and i'll see you soon